so we have created the new cPanel server I'm gonna choose rectangle here's the new group we created now we're gonna create or add a new server this one click here okay so let's do that back to windows click add new server name this is uh, let's name this let's name the server delicious right host name will be delicious the IP address I'm gonna ping my it memo server there we go let's copy this um, hit enter to copy that monthly cost just leave this leave this 200 leave everything and let's just the same IP for now I'm going to change this later of course okay or let's just change to 19 which I'm going to set up later server details this will be cPanel and my root username and my root password which is this no which is I'm gonna copy first so I'm gonna use SSL for security and click save changes now surfer added successfully now we just add a surfer and just click on WHM button here to test if it's working this button over here okay let's try that oh I haven't set up the domain the um, host name yet um let's uh, let's uh, go ahead and do that I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna set the host name or for now um, let's just change the server name because it's too um, length of a process so I'm going to edit my WHM and I'm going to change this just maybe just eat memo.com for now since it's already up okay I'm going to use eat memo I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to save changes now if I click this button this should work I understand the risk, add exception, get certificate, confirm, resend. There we go. We are inside WHM. So that's working. That's how you test it if your server is linked up properly with WHMCS. Now, once we've done this, let's go back to the product and services again. Set up product and surfaces and we're going to edit the website presence here module settings there we go now the WHM package name which we set up previously is it memo like that right let's check it out make sure it's right oh, with a capital M let's do that instead so just make sure it's right so this amount of um, let me bring the duo here and this amount of um, web space quota and so forth it's been set to the package right so you don't have to set this up and everything else shell access this and the theme everything and also this you don't have to set this up so just leave it as it is so the server group now you get to choose this one 
okay now that's that now we're gonna pay attention to the bottom part here here this is important now are you going to set up automatically the account on cPanel whenever um, the order is placed or you want to wait until the payment is received of course we're gonna wait until the payment is received but sometimes you even want to choose the uh, third one that is to manually accept an order and automatically set up when you manually accept the order so that is to prevent um, fraud so for example you're give we are giving out free domain names right so we when we give out free domain names and when a transaction turns out to be a fraudulent one we have to take extra steps to reverse the domain registration so if, if you don't want to do, do to keep doing that you can choose to set up everything manually but for me I'm gonna choose the second one automatically set up after payment is received so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna choose this one so when an order is placed and the payment has been accepted the cPanel account will automatically be created on my server and the welcome email will automatically be sent to the client that's that okay some save changes here okay once you save changes you can go to custom fields to add some custom fields which I've shown you before configurable options upgrades free domain and other so on this particular part I'm gonna just click free domain offer a free domain um, registration and renewal I'm gonna choose this and I'm gonna give this for monthly annually and two-year payment and all the domain names here I'm gonna save my changes and that's it go back let's see what it looks like on our shopping cart if we refresh this cool so we have three products now we have website presence we have it memo fro, uh, pro and it memo free but I don't want to make the the details for the it memo free bold like this let's let's remove the bold stuff okay let's go back to windows and back to here I'm gonna change that for for a minute I'm gonna go to it memo free and I'm gonna remove the strong part there and this part here and I'm gonna save changes I'm gonna go back here and refresh there you go so um, that's it that's how you can create your products and services and this should be online people can start ordering this and making payment since we have already tied this up with um, our PayPal account and once the payment is received we can um, the system will eventually send out the welcome email and create the hosting account if the client choose this product here since we have set up this one with cPanel and web host manager so that's pretty much it for product and services and next I'm going to discuss the other options and finalize the setup of WHMCS and you should be ready to start selling shortly thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video series